Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're in the middle of exploring, so I'm just gonna continue with that right away. My family, the Galateas, are an offshoot of the Daphne family. The family split in half, and two brothers quarreled over an inheritance. Despite blood relations, the families lived apart from one another, so the relationship has been distant and somewhat estranged. I'm not so much acquainted with Judith, the head of House Daphne. I wonder if there if there's like a chapter at this point in the Blue Lions path that involves Judith and the Daphnels as well, or whether she has different dialogue depending on which route you go on. Professor, how do Claude and Judith know each other? I hear there are still quarrels within the Alliance. This generous offer of soldiers and supplies seems a little too good to be true. Oh. It's also really impressive. But I'm just a little worried, I suppose. Yeah, we are going to have to fight her. Okay. <laughs> and that is a prophet. <laughs> it is known. She was the one who called out the whole Death Knight thing and, like, people getting kidnapped and stuff like that. So, got to believe everything she says. <clears throat> yeah, that's got to be specific to this route, right? I mean, there'd be no reason for her to talk about it in terms of Claude if we were on the Blue Lions path, so... It's good. I mean, I hope that they have different monastery dialogue for the different routes. I was a little worried about that. It seems some of our friends believe that if we get those reinforcements, we'll be set for provisions, too. But I think it's best not to hold our breath on the food front. With the added headcount from the reinforcements, there will be even more mouths to feed. True enough. Sharing her food with us for nothing in return? Judith really is a great person. She's more like a goddess than the goddess is. Whoa there, Raphael. I never met her, so I don't know for sure. But she must be beautiful and kind. We'll see. I and mean, I guess she's... We at least know what she looks like. Me there, yes, me. Can you help me? I don't think this is the, gonna get the Dark Merchant, but I could be wrong. Aol, the Valley of Torment. Oh man, I really do not want to go there. That place is crazy hot. For guys like me, who grew up somewhere cold, man. It's gonna be rough. Oh, is that is this the is that the anger paralog map area? Well, that definitely isn't something Sylvain said in the Black Eagles route. So, hey, there is a, there are at least some differences. I mean, there kind of had to be, but there's so few differences before the time skip. It made me wonder. To the north of Garrig Mock lie the territories of the Karen and Galatea houses, former lords of the kingdom. Even though their territory is being nibbled at by the Empire, they are still clinging to their neutrality. Since they only display enough force to defend their borders, I suppose the Empire has no incentive to attack them with any real strength. You know, I'd never have been recognized as the legitimate heir to House Regan without Judith's recommendation. Feels like I'm digging myself deeper and deeper in debt to the hero of Daphnel, but what do you do? It's all been worth it. After all, we need the Daphnel army for our next move. Do we it's actually? Possible we'll have to deal with our enemy sooner than later. Be prepared, Teach. My big brother told me stories of Judith's bravery. With just one look, she tamed a runaway horse that nobody else had been able to touch. When an Almiran general provoked her, she talked him into a tearful apology. She's spectacular. I wish she'd fight alongside us. Uh, oh, do you have to get the? paid DLC to interact with the animals? Maybe that's the case. I, I'll i be honest, I think that feature is incredibly overrated. I mean, not that I have anything against it, but giving gifts to animals, like, I don't know. I just don't actually find that compelling. I don't know why people care so much. But it looks like I can't do it anyway, so. ALL, the Valley of Torment, lies on the border of three noble territories. The Kingdom's Fraldarius and Galatea families, and the Alliance's Daphno family. In the Fraldarius lands to the north, the former Kingdom army and new Duke's army are fighting. The bridge that links Alliance and Empire lands is currently under the occupation of the Imperial army. Oh, is it? In other words, 
The Empire can choose to invade the Alliance whenever they wish. I want you to understand that my father does not support the Empire to antagonize House Regan. He does it to deprive them of an easy excuse to cross that bridge. You say so. So are we going to end up fighting on that bridge again? I've heard people talk about the hero of Daphnal. If the stories of her courage are true, no one will be able to stand against us. In different circumstances, I'd have wanted to try crossing swords with her. Right now, we have to focus on getting to those reinforcements. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Well, you look at that. Something happens up here. Amazing. It probably does. I mean, it is probably not unique to the Golden Deer. I probably just don't remember it happening in the Crimson Flower, but still. Amazing. Something happening up, up here. Literally the only thing I can remember ever happening in this part of the monastery the entire game. Appreciate it. Welcome. Alright, we can buy from Anna now. Which means unlimited master seals and limited stat boosters and we can buy yet another speed ring. I actually have like two or three of these at this point. It has been only five years, yet so much has changed. Half of the kingdom has fallen to the Empire. Skirmishes are rife throughout the Alliance. Despite such tumult, we look upon the same sky, unchanged by the storm happening beneath it. Ugh, I can't look at the sky like you can. Yes, it would be nice, I suppose. Things were simpler then. Or so they seemed to be at the time. So, I guess nobody remarks on the fact that Flane looks exactly the same after the time skip. Which, considering her apparent age, is pretty weird. Meeting reinforcements in the Valley of Torment seems an astute decision to me. In that land of oppressive heat, it is unlikely that we will be disturbed. It also means we will need to contend with those harsh conditions ourselves, however. Best ensure we are well prepared. People say always say my, that my muscles are huge, but I'm still not satisfied. It would be way better if my muscles were even huger, right? Huger. Well, I'm sure he'll like it if I say this. A symbol of strength. They're also like an actual thing that is strong. <laughs> Sir, I have lived inconspicuously these past five years so as not to be discovered by the Empire. To be able to finally return to the monastery again is overwhelming. I hope that our brothers and sisters who ran far away will also return one day. Valley of Torment. Valley of Torment. Sounds lovely. I once read a book full of legends surrounding Aelo, but I can't seem to remember. Okay, that's helpful. Oh, she's probably talking about the... like, when it got f basically, like, firebombed. The Valley of Torment. I'd heard of it, but I never expected to go there. It's exciting. I wonder what the landscape is like. It probably is dangerous, but I still want to get there and see it as soon as I can. A bold of you, Ignatz. We may not be students anymore, but it's still important to read. We might even learn something that's useful for our next battle. I couldn't agree more. I hope the Officers' Academy reopens when the war is over. It's a shame the monastery was ruined, but... It seems At fine the for the most part. Intact. With the Fargus Dukedom in place, the kingdom is essentially no more. The majority of the lords who once belonged to the kingdom are now under the jurisdiction of the Empire. Even the houses that haven't been to me yet, like House Broldarius, will soon be crushed. It's only a matter of time. Hey, what are you doing wearing red? You're the spy! I didn't think we'd end up fighting Randolph. He's my uncle. Well, not by blood, so... I guess I can handle it. Don't worry about me. I'm ready for anything. 
The monastery repairs have made solid progress. Most excellent news. When we first returned here, I was unsure what we were going to do with the ruins of this place. But if we can get the cathedral rebuilt, we'll have it looking just like old times soon enough. Hearing that an old student has died cuts me right to the heart. As this war with the Empire continues... Wait, what old student? Oh, she means Dimitri, I guess. We have a duty to fight alongside our former students. We taught them how to fight, after all. Now, let's help them win. Nice job. Stuffed nadir bear. <laughs> Professor. So, I haven't finished it spending a lot of my activity points, but it unlock some supports, and I'm going to go ahead and do some of those now. Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while the war rages on, and others are fighting with all they have, well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight, like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry for the benefit of the Galatea family. Defying my father feels wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He never once complained, even though he must have been starving. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Although ultimately, I find myself betraying his wishes. Now that I've parted ways with my father, there is nothing to stop me from pursuing my dream. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry, that I have shunned my duty as a noble. Hmm. To follow both my dream and my duty? I... I had never considered that as an option. Perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, you're still a professor through and through. Always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, Professor. I hope you'll always be here as a guide to everyone. I know I myself would appreciate that deeply. I guess there's a sort of accuracy to it, but I will say that I find the amount of focus on marriage and helping the family with marriage to be kind of repetitive and like unengaging at a certain point I'm trying to think of all the characters who've brought that up just 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 among the women even um is obviously ingrid just brought it up uh dorothea comes at it from her own standpoint not so much from a nobility standpoint but the motivation is similar mercedes brought it up with her adopted father obviously bernadetta's whole thing stems from that Marianne, it's a little less clear whether that's a concern of hers. Um, who else? 
Hilda doesn't really talk about it, which is nice. Petra doesn't talk about it. Isithia doesn't talk about it. So I guess there's a decent number who don't. Um, Annette, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's not actually that many people. I mean, there's also Lorenz, obviously. He makes a huge deal out of it. I don't know. At a certain point. Well, and I guess there's also, like, Ignatz who's like, oh, I can't do what I want because my parents, you know, want this. And it's, it's all fair, but it, it just feels, like I said, a little bit too repetitive to me that, like, there's so many characters. I mean, it's not inaccurate or anything. It's not unreasonable. I just, like, at a certain point, I'm just like, ah, Ingrid, I don't know if I can muster up the energy to care about your whole, like, marriage situation, considering we've had to go through this with, like, five other characters. Alright, so let's do... Oh, this one I've seen before, so I'll just cover that. Now, this is a new one. Bernadetta, please come out of your room. You've been in there for ages. You need to train. Um, no, sorry, not happening. I'm not playing around, Bernadetta. This training is absolutely crucial to the war. Is this a post time care. skip only support? Today. Please leave. Why did you come here? Why did I come here? I didn't choose to join the academy. I was forced. Then more stuff happened, and I didn't have a say in any of it. So here I am, somehow. I suppose not everyone has to be pleased about being here. But even so, Bernadetta, I'll ask one more time. Please come out of there. And I'll tell you one more time. It's not happening. Not right now. Not today. You leave me no alternative. If you're near the door, you'd better step away. <laughs> My door! Why? Now hurry along, Bernadetta. You've got lots of training to catch up on. Spare me! I'll train! I'll train! Just... not with you. Anyone but you, please. Is that so? That presents a problem. I know we are two very different people. But whether or not you like me, we are on the same side. We must learn to work together. It's... it's not about any of that! If this is how you treat people on your own side, wh what do you do to your enemies? <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I did what was necessary to get you to comply. Nothing more. I do hope that the Damn. professor will be able to help you through the rest of your training. In the meantime, I will fix your door. Good luck. Um, oh, right, okay, good. That is definitely a support that could have used some kind of animation. To show her kicking them in the door, which actually would have been badass as hell. <laughs> I'd have her just rear back and boom, kick down the door. Would have looked really cool. Alas, that is not what this game does. Alright, one more. Cyril, you are always having great passion and hard work. You give inspiration. Oh, just doing my job. There is no need for showing humility. You work with hardness. I mean, you work hard. It makes me have curiosity. Can you tell me what plans you hold for the future? The future? I don't know anything about the future, but I'm kind of busy, so can we talk later? I have had the learning that you are from Almira. Everyone has the saying that it may have... It may be hard to move up in the church for you. But even with that, you always have passion and work with hardness. What fills you with determination? <sighs> I work because I work. It's what I do here. And, you know, I really want to make myself useful to Lady Rhea, so I can repay the big debt I owe her. Lady Rhea gave me a home when I didn't have one. I understand the feeling of need for repaying debts. But does it give you difficulty, being a great distance from your home for so much time? Almira's just where I was born. It's not like I've got family there. If you love your homeland and want to go back, then that's nice, but it's not a thing I want to do. I like where I am, 
The best future I can think of is if things stayed like this forever. Yes, I have understanding. You and I have similarities. But at the similar time. At <laughs> the similar <laughs> time? <laughs> Maybe. Nice. Hey, I still got a lot of work. Better get to it. Cyril does not want to speak about his land of home? It gives me curiosity. Well, I did end up getting one more support, so we're going to do that before we wrap up here. May I help you, Sedef? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length. And in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> keeping a close eye on me. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose you're going to tell me, to defeat your enemies, you must have dependable allies. That's not exactly how I would phrase it. But having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. There are limits to what one person can do alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. <sighs> you sound like my father. You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. I am talking about friends. People to speak with on equal terms. You have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice, but I'm not usually one to change my mind. <laughs> ah, to be young. Grumpy Grouchy Felix. All right, time for teaching. Managed to get Hilda's budding talent unlocked and it's seal speed, so yeah, <laughs> I don't care about that. May I ask a question, Professor? Yes. I want to knit an animal doll for someone, but I'm not sure what kind to make. They love eagles, lions, and deer equally. I don't know what to do. So... <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm trying to, which of these is actually a mythological creature? Eagle's head, lion's body, and deer's tail. Well, the deer part... No, wouldn't be anyway. Here's antlers and an eagle's wings on a lion's head. Well, maybe neither of them are. They're close, though. Wow, you're a genius! Yeah, that was a really tough one to come up with. Professor? Let's just get through this. We'll do our best. Here's the report.
Let's put this to the test. I'll do my best with this. How best to use this? Technique never betrays. All right, here we are, and this will be the end of the episode. Uh, at least, yeah, I didn't forget about any supports. Next episode, we'll be doing some paralogs. So that'll be exciting. Until then.